Hey, what's going on guys, NSC85. What I'm gonna go over now is the BRD Engineering Gas Block Pinning Tool, or Jig, rather. Here's this information. Pause it if you need it, otherwise it'll be down below in the information box. If you search or you go back in my last video, I used the BRD Engineering AR-15 Gas Block Dimpling Jig. And I talked about why it's important to have your gas block centered and installed correctly. So. You can see that I have mine set screwed in, everything's been uh, dimpled and properly spaced, centered, all that jazz. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the gas block. And what I mean by that is I'm going to use this jig to go through the side of the gas block, through a very small portion of the bottom of the barrel. It doesn't go through the bore, just the bottom of the, the barrel material, and then out the other side and then I'm going to ream it with a taper reamer I believe that's what it's called please correct me if I'm wrong and then punch in a taper pin and that will make sure that this gas block will never come out of alignment unless I remove that taper pin so all you will need is again the uh, BRD engineering and that's brdengineering.com you'll need the gas block pinning jig and then he sells the number 31 drill and the two dash or two slash zero taper reamer. And he also sells the taper pins as well. So that's all you're gonna need. You'll need a drill press or a hand drill. I'm going to attempt to do this with a hand drill just because that's what most people have. So if I can do it with a hand drill, anyone should be able to do it with a hand drill. This is a BCM gas block, which this does fit, this will also fit uh, Voltor, Rainier, Fortis, and some other ones. But literally all I'm going to do is slide this over and there is a plastic tipped set screw that I will tighten here. And once that is tightened I will put this in the vise and then drill through. So let's go ahead and move over to the vise now. So I have this nice and secure in the vise making sure it's really nice and secure so it's not going anywhere I have my number 31 drill bit and my electric battery powered hand drill whatever you want to call it and what I'm going to do now is just drop a little bit of CLP in here for some cutting oil and now we just utilize the jig the way it's meant to be which is just to guide you all the way through so here we go Now if you notice there, I had to start out slow and that's because of the angle that you're coming at the gas block because the gas block is kind of like, like this and you're coming at it at an angle. So you just want to get it spinning and just go really slow just to get it started. bring it back up just to get rid of any chips add some more cutting fluid and just go slow and take your time we'll just continue doing this until we get to the other side all right when you get to the end you want to go slow as well and I know I'm all the way through because the drill goes through but also because my cutting fluid is now dripping through the other side. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step, which is taper reaming this for a taper. Pin. Okay, now I'm actually using the BRD engineering dimple jig, the gas block dimple jig, keep the barrel in place. I put the barrel in and then it has two flat spots. You can see it in the other video, but then I went and clamped down. So now this is super secure. And I'm just gonna start using the, the taper here tape a reamer and reaming this out.
and you want to go slow and just check it I want to be able to get this almost protruding through so as you can see I got a little bit of ways to go but it doesn't take much pressure Okay, and you'll know that you are the correct depth when you can drop this into place and it just comes through on the other side. Go ahead and show you here. See that there? Now we're just going to pound this in and the gas lock will be pinned in place. Now comes the fun part of reaping the benefits of having a pinned gas block. Drop it into place. And I just have a small brass punch that I'm just going to give it a few taps. And now the gas block is pinned. And that is not going anywhere unless you want it to. So again, this is the BRD Engineering gas block pinning jig information will be down below hopefully you guys enjoyed this video you found it helpful and again remember if i can do it you can do it too so don't be worried i just use a regular hand drill no fancy drill press or anything so remember to check nsc85 out on instagram and facebook thanks for watching guys have a good day